Hi, you guys. I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing. And today I want to talk to you about setting what everybody calls retirement goals. I want, I want you to talk about a retirement practice. So most people are going to retire or at least plan to one day. Uh, but a lot of people don't put a whole lot of thought into what they're going to do once they retire, what they're going to really need to afford the life they want to live. They just sort of assume it'll all kind of come together. That's a big, big mistake. You want to stop working as soon as you're ready to retire, right? You want to stop and have plenty of wealth to support you during your retirement years. And to do that, you guys, you're going to need a plan and that retirement plan has to include some very specific goals. And when you start putting that plan together, you're gonna to understand why most people don't do it. It gets scary, the kind of numbers you're gonna to need to look at. Now, a great place to start to determine the minimum amount of money you're gonna to need to retire is going to be uh, finding out what you will have available for the lifestyle that you want. To do that kind of research, just use my retirement calculator. Now I've included that, a link to that, it's in the description below and go click on it and it'll start to tell you to plug in some numbers and you can figure out real quickly the kind of money you're going to need to have. Now let's dive into some quick questions to ask yourself that'll help you craft a bit of a retirement plan here. Now, what do you want your life to look like in retirement? That's the first question, right? What do you want your life to look like? Like it is now, like it is hopefully in the future where you're going to be having a lot of leisure time, maybe doing a lot of travel. Maybe you're going to travel the world. You're going to take care of grandkids. Are you going to live out an RV life? You know, what are you, what are you going to do with your life during retirement? And then you decide that it's going to have a big impact on how much it's going to cost. Next question is what retirement account is right with you right now? You can utilize your company's 401k plan. You can use a Roth IRA. You can do a money market account. You can do a combination of these things. Each one has its own tax advantages and disadvantages. So it's important you do some research and figure out which one's right for you. I've got a real clue for you. If you can possibly roll over your 401k into a Roth IRA when you're when you're at a point where you're not paying a lot of taxes, man, you might want to think about doing that. The Roth, you never pay taxes on the money that's in there. You always pay taxes on it before it gets in there. So try to do that. Some people are rolling over 401k. So just think about maybe doing that. Now, next one is how much time do you have to save? This is a real key thing. You got 20 years, you got five years. This is going to depend on when you want to retire, of course, but also how much you need to retire and what your rate of return has to be after retirement. Now, you might have to push back your retirement age goal if you need more time to accumulate wealth. A lot of people are having that experience right now. But remember, you can use my retirement calculator on the link below. It's going to help you determine how much time it'll take you to save based on what your rate of return is. Man, if you can get a higher rate of return consistently, especially when you're retired, you need so much less money to retire and you can retire so much earlier. Now, once you've answered these questions, it's time to take some action and try to think of it in terms of a promise to yourself as opposed to a goal. OK, goals are for intentions. Goals are like, OK, I really have a goal to lose some weight or I really have a goal to work out. When it's something like your future life, you need to have kind of a promise to yourself, a full commitment to really make this happen. So when you have a retirement account open and have already begun making your maximum contributions, all right, perfect opportunity to start investing, start building up that muscle of making higher returns. Now, if you're pretty young and you're just getting started, uh, retirement might be way farther away than you really want it to be, right? There's this idea of maybe retirement could happen a lot earlier and it can if you can get higher rates of return. So start learning to invest now because when you're invest, what you're doing when you're investing is investing for the long term. You're picking companies that have the growth potential to build your capital at 20 percent, 30 percent a year for 10 years, 20 years out into the future. So they basically you do all the work to set yourself up nice for retirement. We want to get a little handful of those kind of companies and leave them alone. Now, when you're investing for the long term, it's also important to know when it's time to switch up your strategy. When you're establishing retirement goals, when you're young, it's a good idea to take maybe a little more risk, right? You don't have as much money, take a little risk. What we do with that is we get more aggressive with our investments in a very specific way. In fact, what I like to say is 
We go out to become the casino in the world of gambling. We want to be the casino, but we want to do that when we're younger, have less capital, or if you're older and have not enough capital to retire, you might want to take a little more risk to grow these savings and investments, but you want to do it with a brain. By taking more risk, I don't mean you're rolling the dice on stocks. I've got a very specific ideas for you that I want to teach you about how to do this investing and trading in a way that can generate very high rates of return uh, with very, very, very low risk relatively. So as you get older, you're going to need to really learn that stuff. If you don't have enough money, you want to be able to create cash flow with as low as risk as possible. So you always want to be reevaluating your approach as you grow toward uh, a, a bigger portfolio and older age. Now, when you're young, uh, you're nearing retirement, it's important to set your promise where you want it, and then absolutely commit yourself to get there. If you'll do that, I think you'll find that nature will support you in many ways you can't even imagine to get money and opportunities that you couldn't have seen. And I really believe in that as a way of making the most out of your life, make a full commitment toward that promise that you're going to do. Now you can play around with my retirement calculator. It's linked below. Just put in your target retirement age, your expenses, your account contributions, see how long it'll take you to reach your goals. And I'd love to hear what that came out to came out to be. Have you set goals for retirement? You guys leave a comment below with your answer. I'll be sure to follow up with you. Now, thanks for watching and go play. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you more about hmm, what can you do to make a promise toward your retirement, hit the like button, share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks for watching.